Hey everybody, today's video has nothing to do with the Pacquiao, although we wish it did, <laughs> but it does have to do with water. Some of you may remember about a month and a half ago, Maggie's toilet would no longer hold water. So we took it out, we took it apart, we replaced the waste ball seals, put it back together, put it in, everything worked fine. Till a couple days ago when we walked in and there was a puddle of water from behind the toilet <laughs> off to the side. So we cleaned everything up, we put paper towels down just to, just to try to track where the water's coming from and it is coming from the water valve now. Also, it's not holding its water as well as it was. <laughs> I mean, after you flushed using the foot pedal, we ended up putting our foot underneath and lifting our foot to continue to close that. So we don't know if the water valve is causing that because they both work off of the foot pedal. Meaning if one's binding up, it may not allow the foot pedal to return the waste ball all the way closed. So instead of replacing one piece, put it in, see if it works, finding out it didn't, putting the other one in, we're just gonna save time and do a complete rebuild behind the foot pedal. So you will need some paper towels, pliers, Phillips head screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, 3 8 socket, half inch combination wrench, some vinyl gloves, oh, and not shown is some plumber's grease. What do you gotta do first, babe? First step, you gotta shut the water off. So I'm gonna go shut the water off. Otherwise, it'll make a big mess. Here we go. Dry as a bone in there. Last night, held water all night long. And right here, you can see the wet spot. Water valve is right behind here, and that's where it's been leaking from. So, we're gonna have to pull it out, pull the foot lever off, and replace them. But you do wanna drain all the water from the system. Because that would have been a mess. All right, this time we're going to take the seat off because it was kind of a pain last time. I didn't want to break it. I mean, it's cheap plastic. This thing will cost you like $40 too. <laughs> it's very <laughs> expensive. So just a screwdriver. I'm going to reach underneath. There's just a plastic nut under there too. That's all that's holding these on. They're both off. Watch the washers. All right, before we go too much further, make sure you disconnect the water. And it should just turn right off. You put a towel underneath it? Yeah, because there'll probably be some water. Yeah, I can already feel it. I can't see it, but I can feel it. <laughs> Even through the rubber glove. Try not to block the camera. Beam. Okay, we're disconnected. What we're gonna do next is we're going to remove the nut on both sides of the toilet and then get it out of this uh, cramped little area that it's in. We don't need this anymore. Throw that away. Then half inch wrench. Counterclockwise. It's very difficult to work in here. This is what's known as a low profile toilet because Jayco all built up underneath it. It's on a platform. Yep. So if you have a high pro profile toilet, it would be a lot easier to work on than it is working on this one. All right, then it's just a matter of grabbing hold of the toilet. I'm gonna lift straight up, and I'm gonna go carry it out into the uh, other part of the RV where we have more room. Just like that. There, it's covered. Now we have to take the handle off. Just wanna grab hold, and then just pull it up. Just like that. There you go. What you have here is this is what controls the waste ball. It goes up and down, okay? This is the spring that controls to return the uh, foot pedal back. And this here is the water valve that is leaking. So let's get started. All right, first thing we need to do to separate the bowl from the base is we have to remove this hose. It's just a spring clamp down here. Grab hold, move it off. Make sure you have a towel down because you can see there's water right here. <laughs> and that's just gonna flow. Let's pull it off. Come on. Yank it, babe, yank it. And there goes that water. Now to separate it, first thing you want to do is you want to remove these two screws. They are 3 8 inch. All right, taking off the last screw now. Make sure you grab the washer that goes with it too. Now we need to remove it from those clips. Yep, there are two in the back and two in the front. All you have to do, well, I have to actually hold underneath and then just counterclockwise to release it. And then it comes right off. To replace the waste ball, we're using kit 42048 and 34117. 
which is also 34118. This kit will have more parts than you need. Now the way that it works, this is your waste ball. When you step on the handle, it's going to, well, make it so that... It rotates. <laughs> yeah, so all the stuff can go down. And the way it does that is with the drive arm. Now you have one side that's just round, you have one side that's round and has a slot on it. The same with this. It's going to line up on it, just like that. So that when you step on the pedal, the stuff goes down. When you release it, it closes back up. And pretty much like that. <laughs> Alright, so let's take the other stuff off the base and put the new stuff in. First, you remove the waste ball seal. Now, we did clean this for appearance purposes. And you're welcome. <laughs> Alright, so once that's off, open up the waste ball, just grab hold of here. That's what the seal seat's on. And just pull it out. It's just like that. Now that that's off, grab a Phillips head screwdriver. This is the waste ball drive arm. It's a Phillips head screw in it. It's going to unscrew it. And pull it right out. That's the screw. We already showed you how that works. All right, then to get the waste ball out, just squeeze it together. Pull off one side and then pull it right out. Now, the first thing I'm noticing, and you're gonna wanna notice too, the uh, seal is not here, which means it's probably still in a hole. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> okay, now it's out. Mm. All right, start the rebuild. Take the waste ball itself. What I did was I put some grease lightly on both of the pivoting points. Uh, make sure you put your seal on. Make sure you use the correct... <laughs> <laughs> make sure you use the correct grease. This is plummet's grease. Do not use petroleum jelly. Matter of fact, don't use anything with petroleum in it. It will ruin the seals. So with that being said, what I'm gonna do is place it in. Your best to put it in the drive side first. Get it in and then wait till it snaps into position. All right, to install the drive arm, gonna be screwed in see it's tiny <laughs> the best bet I mean you can throw it in there and try to hope you get it in a hole you could use a magnetic screwdriver if you have one that'd be great mine's in storage so what I'm gonna do is put it on the end of a screwdriver and bring it straight up and get it right through like that and I'm gonna keep it that way put it in turn it up so this this will lock into the waste ball and you can tell right there that it did and then just screw it down Make sure your waste ball is in the closed position. Yep. Do not over tighten. It's not necessary. All right, there we go. We'll be installing this piece next. It's going to bring the waste ball down. Set it in because you want it to see. Just like that. All right, we're going to do the water seal now. What you're going to want to do... Oh, actually, you want to throw this away. <laughs> You'll be getting three of these if you do the exact same thing we did that are brand new. All right, this is the water valve. The way to do it, I'm going to put your thumb right here. And then this is a tab. I'm gonna lift up on it, I'm gonna turn clockwise and then pull the whole unit out. So just like this, turn clockwise and pull it right out. It's that simple. And you can pretty much dispose of all of this. That seal down there is called the water inlet seal. We are going to remove that next. I'm gonna grab some needle nose, try to get them both together, which I did. All right, that's out. Now we just put it back in. This is everything that comes in the kit. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna put the water inlet seal back in. So you're gonna take it. Take the spring, the small edge, I should say the smaller diameter goes in first. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. All right, pop it in just like that. Now to put it back in, I'm gonna use a screwdriver, Phillips, just to hold it all together. And I'm gonna put it in the hole. Stick my finger down there and put it in the rest of the way to make sure that it is fully seated, which it is. We have three pieces left for the water valve. <laughs> so we're gonna take the O-ring here, put it on as such. Now, when you put the spring retainer into this, the cartridge, you want this drive arm right here to rest where we want it. So it can only travel from there to there, such as this. Okay. Remember, this is gonna operate off the foot pedal too. Okay. All right, then we're gonna take this Put it in and clamp it into place like that. And then we're going to turn this back this way, lift so that it locks onto it so it's locked in. And now the valve can turn. Cool. You know what's left on? What's left? We have to put the foot pedal back on. Oh boy. <laughs> 
Now the way that the foot pedal is going to go back on, you have three inventions you need to worry about. Right here is going to be the waste ball drive arm. This here is going to go in for the spring, and the spring is going to line up right here. It actually says spring with an arrow. That's a little beat up. And the water ball drive arm right here is going to go into this slot. But what you're going to need to do, you need to get it in, and you want to line up the spring first, such as that. All right? You see that? You can see yep. it's, it's oh. Okay. Then you want to just turn it a little to line everything else up. Pop it on just like that. Are you getting this? Yep. Okay. Then you want to hold it and lock it into place. All right. Make sure it works. Oh. No, oh, that's pretty good. Yep. All right. So the next step that we will do is we are going to put on the new waste ball seal. Right, so I applied some of the grease to there, applied some of it to the bottom here. You want to make sure the lip is up when you install the waste ball seal. So the flat part goes against the ball. Yep. I'm just going to throw a little bit of grease just around here too. All right, now to put it back on, these four holes right here are going to line up on these four tabs. You're going to put it on and then you're going to be able to twist it. They're going to help lock it in. Then we're going to take the two screws I took out early, at the beginning. They'll go through here and into these two spots. We're going to screw it down. And then we're going to put the flange on. It's around here somewhere. And mount it back to the floor. So I'm going to take this. Try to line up the hole. All right, then what I want to do. Now, how the hole's lined up in, oh, in the back. So I'm just going to put the two screws in, and uh, we're going to call it done. Well, we're going to go mount it. What am I talking about? <laughs> you do not need to over-tighten once they get down. It is porcelain going into plastic. You don't want to crack anything or strip anything out. All right. Now we're going to take this hose, put it back on where it goes. Right there. Get my pliers. Slide this right back down. All right. Away. There it was. All right. What we're gonna do now is just go and put it back in. Oh, almost forgot. It's gonna go with the lip down. It will fit tightly. That's what you want it to do. All right. Now we'll go move it. So I have my fingers around the actual bolts down there, and I have my thumb on the holes. So I'm trying to line the bolts up, because you're going to have to play with, with it. And that did it. All right. All right, next we're going to reinstall the water line. These will be fine, hand tight. Don't need to use any tools on a little bit of water came out. I'll have to wipe that up. Okay. Before we turn the water on and put the seat back on and all that, we just want to make sure this is gonna hold the water. And it's 355. Oh. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's been six minutes. I mean we're still letting it sit. Uh, we're just gonna throw the toilet seat on while we are waiting. Put the washers on. There's also washers that go on top of the nuts too, so you want to make sure that you align it. I don't know if Cheryl showed you or not. That's how we keep in tabs. Water is right at that line. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's aligned. Just kind of hold underneath and just tighten it down. Take the caps, pop them back down. Da da da. All right, and the wait continues. So we went outside because the cows were visiting us behind the RV and we lost track of time. But the water is still at the same level. It's holding water, but is it leaking out the valve? Not seeing anything down there. Not feeling anything. It was all wet before and it's dry. Yay! All right, everyone, it has been three months since we made this video. We did it down in Texas and during winter. <laughs> and we are now in California, hence why I'm in shorts and no longer in pants. We waited a long time to make sure every part worked properly. Yep. 
Everything in Toilet Land is good and happy now and functioning properly. Which was good because I was considering it on the chopping block. Yeah, one thing about theft and supply parts, they're a little bit on the pricey side. If we have to replace anything else on that, all the money that we've spent already would have been cheaper just to replace the toilet, I think. <laughs> but everything is working great and I have no qualms about what yep. we did. We are happy again. It's not a difficult job, how to spot is just trying to get that foot pedal that comes straight up, but it does come off. <laughs> Other than that though, if you like what you saw, we'd appreciate that thumbs up as always. If you want to become part of the Grow and Get Gone With Us gang, right down there in the corner, just click it and you're in. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them right down below, or you could just say hi. Because we'll say hi back, we always do. Till our next video, I'm Chuck. And I'm Cheryl. We'll get gone with us. Bye. Bye.